picture perfect blanket of white. The snow was beautiful, but it was deadly too. A winter storm in January killed 11 people in Shelby County. And now, of course, winter is around the corner. So our entire team of meteorologists in Severe Weather Center 13, they are joining together to forecast the entire winter season. They will give you predictions on the cold, snow, and storms. We begin tonight with Chief Meteorologist Andrew Humphrey. Although forecasting locally, to predict an entire winter season, we look globally from Severe Weather Center 13. And that starts 3,000 miles away in the eastern Pacific Ocean. I expect trade winds to send warm water west toward Asia and Australia. As a result, ocean upwelling occurs, where cold water from the ocean depths moves up, cooling the air just above the ocean. We call this effect La Nina. The colder than average air then creates high pressure, and that moves the jet stream, which steers all weather in our country, farther north. And for us here in the Mid-South, it means a winter that is slightly warmer and drier than average. Now let's begin our team coverage with temperatures and meteorologist Brittany DeBose. Cold temperatures are the most dangerous part of winter weather. The winter storm that hit the Mid-South in January started with snow, then quickly shifted to days of sub-freezing temperatures. That prolonged cold caused water lines to burst, including this one at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center. It also led to 11 deaths in Shelby County. This year, I'm predicting a warmer than average temperatures. In December, we typically start the calendar year with highs of 57 and finish the month at 51. I'm expecting that to move to the low 60s and middle 50s. January is typically our coldest month of the year with average afternoon temperatures near 50 degrees. The average this year should be in the mid 50s. February heats up starting at 53 and ending near 60 degrees during the day. I expect we'll range from the mid 50s to the mid 60s that month. And don't be surprised if we break a few record highs this winter. Andrew. Thank you, Brittany. The next part of our forecast, what falls from the sky? Rain, snow, a little of both? Meteorologist Julia Fife and Wendy Nations are predicting our precipitation. We start with Julia and the rain. You may remember last winter felt soggy all season long. Standing water stayed on lawns and it felt like we'd never dry out. This year with the weak La Nina, wet weather will be less likely. In December, we typically get five and a half inches of rain. I expect about four and a half this year. In January, we usually get around 4.2 inches, expect about three and a half. And in February, we get about 4.7 inches on average. I predict four inches that month. And don't expect to stay wet for any prolonged periods. I expect time to dry out between most rainstorms. Now, the other part of the precipitation forecast is what most kids want to hear. Let's look at the snow with meteorologist Wendy Nations. The two ingredients you need for snow are cold and moisture. And with a warmer and drier forecast, I don't expect to see much snow this season. We predict the warmer than usual air to reach from the ground to the top of the troposphere. The troposphere is the bottom of the atmosphere where we all live and where weather takes place. So it will take an especially vigorous storm to freeze Memphis fast enough and long enough for snow to form and for the ground to be cold enough for it to stick. Typically, we average two inches of snow in January and one in February. We may get one or two snowfalls this season, but I don't expect there'll be week long events like we saw in January. With the warmth in the air, any snow we get will likely melt within a few days. Andrew? Thank you, Wendy. As you've been hearing, the biggest threat this season is not cold or snow, but it is thunderstorms. Just because it's winter does not mean you can let your guard down. Severe Weather Center 13 is always on alert for you. Meteorologist Chelsea Chandler is analyzing the storm threat this season. Andrew showed us how the La Nina pattern will shift the jet stream farther north. We expect it to set up either right over or just slightly north of the Mid-South. Now that is significant because it's the jet stream that steers storms across the country. 
That means lines of thunderstorms could follow the jet stream into the Mid-South. That puts us at risk for severe storms, where wind and lightning are the biggest concerns, but also tornadoes. While we tend to think of tornado season in the spring, they can form at all times of the year. In December of 2022, 18 tornadoes hit our community over two days, including an EF3 that leveled Monette Manor nursing home, killing one resident. That tornado outbreak killed eight people in our community. So Andrew, while this will be a milder winter, storms are very much on our radar. Thank you, Chelsea. Now to bring this winter season all together for you, La Nina is setting up now. That should bring us a slightly warmer and drier winter than normal. Now we may get some snowfall, but don't expect any prolonged snow events like we felt last winter. Our biggest concern is strong and severe storms and we are not ruling out the risk of a tornado outbreak. For all of us in Severe Weather Center 13, I'm Chief Meteorologist Andrew Humphrey.